when you're working on cars, you're gonna find yourself in a situation where maybe you've done something successfully and some time has passed, so you kind of forgot how to do it, or you wanna know how to do a job correctly in the first place. Either way, it's nice to have a reference that you can use as a tool so you know you're getting it done right. Now, I have a drawer just full of diagrams and instructions and references and things like that for things that I've done many times successfully, but it's still nice to have it so you know you're getting the job done right, okay? So take this video kind of like that, it's like a tool. And today, what we're gonna be doing is finding top dead center on a four-stroke engine so we can set initial timing. And our subject for that is this lovely Chevy 350. So the first step in this process is to figure out just which cylinder is cylinder number one. Now on an inline engine, that's easy because it's the cylinder at the very front of the engine. But in a V configuration, it's a little different. Now typically with a V configuration, you'll have one bank shifted ahead of the other. And that's because all of the pistons share a common crankshaft but they have to occupy a different spot on the same journal, just like this. So they end up with one piston ahead of the other. Everything is based on cylinder number one. So now that you know which cylinder is cylinder number one, the next step is to get the piston at TDC or top dead center. Now that's usually indicated by a mark right here on the harmonic balancer. If it's not, it's no big deal. Just get a rod, stick it through the spark plug hole and find the top of the piston. Then you can just follow it as it travels up and down. Right here we're going down, once we go up, and the piston is stopped before it travels back down, we know that's top dead center. Now is a good time to go ahead and mark your balancer if you didn't have a mark before. So this is where it gets tricky though. We want to look at where the piston's at relative to the combustion cycle, because just being a TDC isn't good enough. Now the crankshaft in a four-stroke engine revolves twice for every one revolution of the camshaft. That is how you get 180 degrees out. Now you've heard that before, right? Well, if the engine fires on the wrong stroke, on the exhaust stroke, you're 180 out. That can cause backfires and all kinds of problems and can even cause a fire because essentially you're sending an explosion the wrong direction. Now we need to know where the piston's at relative to the combustion cycle. And the easiest way to do that is to locate intake valve for number one piston. So we wanna follow the air and fuel mixture through the intake manifold down the port and it lines up right with our intake valve for cylinder number one. To double check this, we're gonna find the exhaust valve, which is lined up perfectly with the exhaust port and the cylinder head, right on. So the next thing we wanna do is rotate the crankshaft. And we're gonna watch the valve open. There we go, the intake valve is opening, it's letting air and fuel mixture in, and it's closing. Now you'll notice that there's no movement any longer in this valve spring or the rocker arm, even though the crankshaft is still rotating. That means the piston is on its way up and ready for the combustion event. And now you're ready to set initial timing. How about that? You got this nifty little video for reference now too. Right on. 